As Calvert Magruder, former Chief Justice of the Fifth Circuit, once put it, to be negligent is to be something of a fool, but to be grossly or criminally negligent is to be a damned fool. In People v. Decina, New York's highest court was asked to decide whether a person could be liable for criminal negligence for driving a car with knowledge that he was prone to epileptic attacks. On March 14, 1955, Emil Decina suffered an epileptic attack while driving his Buick along Delaware Avenue, a public highway in Buffalo, New York. The attack caused Decina's vehicle to swerve to the left, jump a curb, and strike a group of six schoolgirls, killing four of them. Decina had a known history of epilepsy and suffered four or five seizures with loss of consciousness in the year prior, including one seizure just a few months before the accident. Decina was arrested and charged with criminal negligence in the operation of a vehicle resulting in death or unintentional vehicular homicide. Prior to trial, Decina filed a demurrer, or motion to dismiss, arguing that he couldn't be held criminally liable for his involuntary acts. The court overruled the motion. At trial, the doctor who treated Decina following his arrest testified as to conversations he had with Decina about Decina's known history of epileptic attacks. Decina was convicted of unintentional vehicular homicide and appealed. On appeal, he argued that the trial court erred in both overruling his demurrer and allowing the doctor to testify. The appellate court disagreed as to the demurrer, but reversed as to the admission of the doctor's testimony regarding Decina's condition. Both Decina and the prosecution appealed, and the Court of Appeals of New York agreed to take the case.